Well, Greece has confirmed it is buying military equipment from France. The agreement includes the purchase of 18 Rafale fighter jets, four frigates and four Navy helicopters. Let's speak to the financial columnist and analyst Taha Arvas. Uh, Taha, thanks again for your time. Do you think it's a coincidence that Greece is buying these weapons from France now? Uh, no, obviously, I don't think anyone uh, would be that naive. Um, it, it's very well timed, but I think the Greeks um, here, I think what, what the, the headline that people are missing are um, uh, Greece will ultimately not pay anything for these weapons. It, it's unfortunately being used here as a proxy by France, which is very saddening, but that's what I think is, is happening. Um, Greece is in an economical situation to, in a financial position, to be spending billions of dollars on French uh, equipment. But uh, like many things, um, it's beholden to the EU here. And uh, France is saying, listen, take these weapons, pretend like you're buying them, I'll pay you back, I'll make it worth your while, and that's what's probably going to happen here. According to data from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, the total global military spend in 2019 was $1.9 trillion. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, would it, that uh, uh, someone had tried to stoke up tensions in order to sell military equipment. You know that old saying about the military-industrial complex needing a good war every 20 years to sell its right. uh, merchandise. How much uh, uh, is Greece in financial difficulty? Well, I mean, almost a million Greeks work in the tourism industry, 20% of their uh, total population. And this year, this summer, was because of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, devastating for the Greek economy. So uh, they're hurting economically. They have problems, um, you know, with their employment. We have these refugee crises, crises as you've seen. Uh, Melinda has covered extensively, and a lot of people have covered, um, you know, on these islands. And now France comes along and says, "Listen, I need you to say X, Y, Z. I need you to do X, Y, Z." And uh, when it comes time to talk about budgets, and when it comes time to, you know, uh, put out an outlay uh, uh, of a loan to Greece again, or to forgive loans, we'll figure something out. France similarly has uh, economic uh, issues. So having this, um, ultimately, the Europeans, the European Union uh, will finance uh, this purchase. It'll cause France to, uh, to sell weapons, uh, make employment for France. It, it's a win for France. It's a win for Greece. Great Greece and Turkey really don't have any problems, uh, these two countries by themselves. Unfortunately, they're being, I mean, at least the Greeks are being used here as a proxy, which is sadding. But like I said, it, they're not going to pay anything for this ultimately because you know, that loan will be forgiven or they'll get more money in the long run. The Greeks know what they're doing. They're, they're, they're pretty savvy here. Taha, look, if uh, finances are important as they are to every country, especially during the uh, economic hardship of the coronavirus pandemic, what about this idea that uh, Germany as a possible negotiator uh, between Athens and Ankara might be able to work out some sort of uh, pan-EU deal that uh, gives Turkey some kind of more favorable trading status with the EU as a bloc? And could that possibly make a difference in the negotiations and the uh, separate positions of Athens and Ankara? Sure. I think what Germany wants business to continue as usual. It, it doesn't like uh, turbulent waters. It doesn't like um, economic uh, uncertainty to uh, exist in the Union. France, on the other hand, has this, the French empire continues. It, it's, uh, you know, soaking up these resources from all these African countries. It has a military presence in over 15 countries. It occupies all these countries, changes, you know, uh, regimes all the time, you know, uh, executes coups wherever it wants, et cetera. So it's not happy about Turkey pointing these things out. And so here we have this position where it can try and throw around some weight, um, and uh, unlike Germany, which is Germany just wants to sell things, frankly, uh, they're okay. They, they're not okay with uh, this dispute. So they're trying to tell France, come on, calm down. Let's not make this into an issue. We already have all these problems with the pandemic. Please, let's just uh, cooler heads should prevail here, excuse me. And that's what Greek, uh, excuse me, Greek, uh, Germany's angle is. And we'll see ultimately who, uh, if cooler heads do prevail. We certainly shall. Taha, always a pleasure. Taha Vas there uh, with the much. analysis of the various aspects of uh, this growing dispute between Athens and Ankara.